Okay, sawmill. What does the sawmill need? Uh, it's got bricks, concrete blocks, metal rolls, and packaged sand. I do also kind of want to get that crossing done. Crossing... Oh, wait, no, I can't do crossing because crossing requires... Uh, wooden planks, and I can't do that until I make the sawmill. Because, of course, that's how it works. I mean, more or less works legitimately that way anyways. But I do know of one other mission we can do. If we drop in at the warehouse real quick. We can do the landslide to the north. Then we can grab all the stuff that the sawmill needs. So it needs four bricks. Uh, this warehouse has two. So we'll need to pick up two more bricks along the way. It has one concrete block. Which means we need to pick up another one over here. So let's see. That's... Literally 10 pieces of cargo that we got to deal with. Uh, I mean, it shouldn't be too much of a problem to move all that stuff. Because uh, we got Bruticus. Bruticus should be able to manage no problem. She has... Oh, frozen the customization. I don't worry about it. I'll uh, correct itself in a bit. But she should have, there you go, the maintenance side on, whoop, and the saddle with crane, and with the saddle with crane, we'll probably put a six slot cargo bed on her. Uh, hang on. I can still kind of read the service sign at very specific angles. That's probably the best angle. There was one angle where I could actually legitimately see it. There it is. Why is the service written in black with a different uh, coding compared to the rest of the service box? Now, ah, well, doesn't matter. So, greetings and welcome to SnowRunner. Where after my last bit, thankfully, I kind of sort of had a moment to relax. Mostly because, well, I mean, not necessarily relax in terms of just, like, taking a break in general. Like, I got to relax from playing the game because of some, uh, what do you call it? I guess you can just say life issues. Granted, it's coming out. Literally on the same week that I uploaded those issues, but those things were already recorded and in advance, and they just weren't able to be uploaded in time. But we are now back on our proper schedule, more or less. Oh, yeah. And uh, we got some Azovs that we need to upgrade and look at. So we have this... 7xy5 haul all there's two of them but this is the one that doesn't have the weird facelift log carrier thing on the front so i'm not gonna worry about that one and then this one uh is kind of made from this well not kind of it is made from the same modder that made the uh the haul all and kind of just want to upgrade them and see what they got going we might actually, excuse me, we might actually use the uh, the special deluxe just to test it out. And then we have the FISA Azov, which I just wanted to upgrade. And then just to show that I did so, I upgraded the AGL Azov variant. It is pink for overpowered. And then we're going to put her away immediately just because. But there is a few other things that we got going on here. Because, uh... Surprise, surprise, mod reshuffle. But this one allows me to add actually a few things. And see. I know one of them 
is a new twin steer. Well, I mean, not necessarily new, but it's a tweaked twin steer. And that could be anywhere. It could pop out at any given moment. Spook you. And just say boo. Alright, well, there's one of them. That's not the twin steer, but this is one of the mods. And it's uh, the Tega 6455B TT. I don't know what that is. I don't know what TT stands for, but uh, as always, modder will be credited in the description. I got this one just because I kind of like the 6455 uh, Tega. I like the design of it. Supposedly this mod, I mean, this mod was like 0.3 megabytes, so it it's less than a megabyte to load in. So I figured I might as well, since it's made from the same model that makes the twin steers that I wanted to uh, check in with. But it's just a, a retweak of supposedly the uh, the in-game truck. ATMDs, okay. We have any custom tires? Is it literally just a pure tweak? Rework P16 tires? Well, that kind of works. They're not custom, but a rework is better than nothing. So we have better P16 tires. Those don't look too bad on the truck. Dump truck tires. Mm, I kind of like the P16s more. Although the dump trucks are kind of bigger and definitely harder in compound. So they might do better than the P16s. Narrow tractor tires. Weird. Oh, they're regular Tega tires right there, the TMHS ones. And then these are the reworks at 3.6 mud grip. Wow. Okay. Alright, those are just the bigger variants. Winter OP MHS 2s and 3s. Winter P16 tires that have no chains on them or spikes. That's fine. Very interesting. I feel like something's missing, though. I feel like there should be custom tires. What kind of suspension you got? You got stock single, stock double. What's stock double? Set for dual wheels plus Nanako. Oh, no. I can't use Nanako to tires. Bro, that's like 100 megabytes to add those tires into the game, and... Very few, if any at all, other modders actually incorporate the Nanako tires. It's usually Mr. Bus's tire compounds that they incorporate. That's a bit of an iffy situation. Active double. Heavy active. Raised. It doesn't look... All that raised, actually. That is not a lift at all. That is a yikes. We, uh, may not be using that. I also decided to go with JTT's, uh, oh no, not JTT's. I, that was one I was considering. This is... Uh, clutch or gulch? Ah, my apologies. I don't remember it. But um, this is a different modders set of tractors that I was thinking of trying out. I'm still not into the farming thing, but this mod cost me less than a megabyte to install, and I figured 
most of the other tractor mods cost like two to three, sometimes five to ten. I think there's one that actually costs like 30 megabytes. And I don't have the room for that at the moment. I see someone is using the busted burlap tire variants. Ooh. You're not supposed to have those wheels, but okay. Very interesting. But, uh, I'll think about it. I'm really concerned about that, uh, that Tega. So this is the new twin steer that we got. Made from the same model that makes the Tega mod. The 6900 XDTT. Now one of them is just normal twin steer. The other one, the, uh, the QS, I'm assuming that's quad steer. So it has the rear tires turning as well. And from the description, it says that this one, the uh, the quad steer, does not have uh, dually tires. So they're all single sets. Oh, you do have custom tires from Iceberg. Why couldn't you put those on the Tega? Those would look perfect on the Tega. GXLRs. I like the way they look. Actually, those look very familiar. Those are the same tires that the Bart's Paystar has for its custom set. Like, if you don't have a Mr. Bus's wheel pack, those are the only tires that come custom with the, uh, the Bart's Paystar. They're still good. In fact, actually, I still think I have my pace cars uh, using those tires. Very pretty. So what does the dually have then? Not much else is different. There's like very few things that are changed out when it comes to the dualies. But then it still has single set variants like this, which it doesn't need. If you, you know, made the truck to be designed for dually tires. Ah, so the fronts are narrowed out with the, uh, the GXLRs. That's a little strange, actually. Why only narrow the fronts and keep the rears widened? Why not put dually narrows in the back? Okay. Um, that is very strange. But we will go with it. So, go ahead and buy those two trucks. Wee. Okay. Buy one, buy the other. We'll customize them later, maybe at the end of the uh, the session. But we definitely gotta customize this thing. Uh, 500k. Wait. You have two 500Ks. And go with the uh, the ones all the way at the bottom. Why? I don't know. I just want to double check. Because I remember... There was a point where uh, Fiza was using, like, electric engines. But it wasn't really... You know... Using electric engine sounds... And because of that, for some reason, it conflicted with the engine's power output. And then the truck would not move at all. Which was uh, not good. Special Advance Plus, I'm assuming plus means it's... Uh, unbreakable. We'll just do 10-speed highway. Raise. 
It's a nice lift. Tune Custom. That's a better lift. That's a top-heavy lift. And because it's FISA, we can choose any tire compound we want. Maybe military tires would look good on you. I don't know about them dualies. Dualies is uh, questionable. I also don't really want the burlaks because uh, they is overused. Tag tires. Hmm. ZHMs. Those aren't too bad. I don't want tractor dualies. That that's a bit excessive. Yeah, I want the uh, the military tires. Yeah, the M nine one sevens. Those look good. And if you don't know, the reason why we're able to use any tire that we want with this truck is because the tire compound basically doesn't matter. Pfizer trucks, every single tire is 10 out of 10 with ice capability or ice grip. So they basically can cut through anything. And one would say, oh yeah, that's definitely overpowered. But um, I say that they're in the strong category because... They can still break, unlike AGL's trucks, which have that exact same setup, but with unbreakable suspension, unpoppable tires, and you cannot damage the truck from any side other than drowning it. Uh, it says unlock diff lock. It's lying to me. That is a waste of money. There is no point to any of this. That's a lot of spare wheels. Almost 800 spare wheels. But I like the tire in the back because it looks aesthetically pleasing. I don't like there being a gap in the cab. That's a bit of a problem. She might just be overpowered. She got a side snorkel, which is kind of weird, because this is the original snorkel where it's just like on the top of the cab. I'm gonna do that one, just because I like the way it looks. That's not a flatbed in any of my mod loadouts. That is a custom bed of for this truck. From this truck. To this truck. That sounds kind of weird. Just ran... There's just a random custom flatbed on this truck. Roof rack? Oh, intense roof rack. Wait, what? Where's this roof rack coming from? That it has an AGL variant. Well, I'm definitely not going to need it if... Uh, I caved putting that tire in the back of the cab. No, I'm not doing that. So, let's go grab that... Uh, that roof rack. I kind of liked that custom bed. I don't know what I would do with it, though. Roof rack. Uh, sun visor, yes. Spotlights? Ooh. Sure. Fenders. I ah, will keep the fenders. Light cage. 
The camera's a little high for the bumper. And that's okay, though. Double bacon, absolutely. Can't not have double bacon. Uh, I actually don't like those rims. Those will be better. Uh, let's see, Pfizer. I would go with that, but I feel like that's not enough yellow. It needs more yellow. Maybe something like that. Yeah, that'll do. We'll go with that. Cup. That's it. Okay. So the Pfizer Azov is ready. Uh, the 7X5 haul. So I want to see your suspension. Extended travel. I can only assume this is going to be insane. Whoa. Wow. So it lifts the back a little, but then lifts the front more for the clearance because of how awkward the, uh, the bumper is. I actually like that way more than I do what AGL does and even what the Kikamore does. What about the other truck, actually? Because there's two variants of that particular truck. So this is the other variant. That's the one with the, uh, the claw on the front. Active extended travel. Does the exact same thing. Okay. So then what does regular active do? Not much. Kind of a typical setup. Kind of to be expected. Sell that. Alright. So, active travel. 520. She kind of needs a little bit more than that, but okay. Off-road sport. Four-speed transmission. Uh, advanced special, we'll do that. Tires. What special tires do you got? Everything looks kind of normal so far. Dually tractors. I don't know if I really want the dually tractors on this one. We already have dually tractors on... I think the FISA variant? I'm gonna have to double check that. Yeah, it's already on the FISA variant. I'll just leave it on that one. So we can keep the, the singles. That should be fine. Monster off-roads, which... Uh, don't tell me the rating. I'm assuming they're insanely high. Hmm. Thin military tires with chains. I might want those instead. Those look pretty good, actually. Yeah, let's go with those. Uh, advanced heavy. So no autonomous. Surprising. Ultimate repair kit. Mmm. <laughs> All you need. I mean, I don't know about that.
as uh, not bother to spare wheels. Usually I can't keep the spare wheels and a crane at the same time. Ah, but I can with if I do this crane. If I do the saddle and crane, absolutely. But regular crane? What if I need just regular crane? Oh. It allowed me to use... I can't use the Tatra Crane, but Tatra Crane is kind of ass. Because, um... Yeah, it's, it still has an audio issue with being excessively loud. It's not as jarring as it was a long time ago, but it's still loud. Alright, I guess we'll keep the spare wheel. Uh, I don't think we'll need any of that. Switchable all-wheel drive. Wait, it doesn't have that already? Apparently not. Front wheel drive? I didn't even know that was a thing. That is very awkward. It's front wheel drive. Pretty sure the original is not front wheel drive. I kind of like that. I don't know how useful it'll be, though. Uh, let's get the top variant. I don't think it really matters which. Uh, we'll keep the fenders. Go oh, with the fog lighter. Oh, I can't have double bacon. I mean, it already has double bacon, but I can't have quadruple bacon additional. I am annoyed. How dare you? Let me have quadruple bacon. Ah, we got the DES exhaust going on. Uh, so this will cut the diesel admission. So it'll be less black smoke coming out. Yeah, I think for once we'll go with that. Ooh. I like that vibrant red. Although the black kind of has like a green hue to it. Maybe that's intentional? Either way, I'm not liking it. It's a lot of color options. See, this thing... I don't know what to give this thing. I'm not sure of how powerful it is. I think I want to put it in the blue category for upgraded. And then if she manages to prove herself far better than any of the other trucks that we got and is like on the level of what Kikamore can do. Oh yeah, we'll absolutely throw her into the yellow category if not the pink category. The green looks nice. Very interesting. Okay. So. Of all the blues. I do kind of like this blue. It's a little bright. It's a little faded. That's questionable. If I had that blue with black or gray, I'd probably go with that one. Alright. 
bobblehead cup. The hall is ready to go. And finally, whatever crazy stuff is going on here. I don't know what is uh, up with the levels, but okay. I have no descriptions. Balance, fine tune, fine tune, professional. Experimental gearbox. You also spelled professional wrong, but okay. 10 speed power haul. High early five speed. Regular high range off road, seven speed sport type. High speed transmission use caution when hauling. Tuned for maximum top end. Maximum top end, you say? Maximum top end. I want all the speed and power. Low towing stock. Active. I guess we'll go with active. Tagus. Oh, other interesting tires. AS ones. Like AS twos better. They're kind of garbage though, in terms of uh, in terms of grip. The NK Mark Thirty Eights, not too bad. Why does those have eight point zero mud grip? And why do I feel like I want them? Aren't those tires on the Chevy? Those are on the Chevy Apache. Why do you have Apache tires? Are there chain variant Apache tires? That's looking like a no. But I want them. Uh, high powered, advanced. Spare wheel. Uh, oh. Wait, so one's. So one is worth the original amount and the other one is $2,000 off. Why? Why is this a thing? I'll go with the more expensive one. Because of reasons. Uh, I'm going to give you... I think I want to give a saddle with crane. But I want to check everything else. Do you have a utility mount that I can add? With the saddle with crane? Interesting. Everything else seems kind of typical. Oh, you have a three slot bed. That's not typical. That's not normal for the, uh, the 5319. If anything, it shouldn't be allowed to do that in general. Double crane. That's illegal. Towing platform. I've had issues with that thing. It does not work. On like the original trucks. It just doesn't work. So I can't imagine it would work on a modded truck. Uh, I have. Oh, I was going to say I have the fenders on there. Uh, I'd rather not the fenders. No fenders. Fog lighter. Double bacon. Roof fog lighters. Ah, I was right. Apache rims. 
Now, depending on how this thing goes, it might be moving out of the upgraded category. But at the same time, it doesn't have chain capability. So we'll see. All right, now that I've wasted everyone's time looking at the 5319s. So we're going to take a six slot trailer bed over to the warehouses and also to this brick farming to grab that, bring it all the way to the sawmill. We also need to grab stuff from this warehouse. So I see two minerals, two pack sand. All right, I think I know what we're doing here. So let's leave the garage with Bruticus. My gosh, this girl is just so big. I think I just have to immediately start turning the second we exit the garage to get out of here because, uh, yeah, every single time I pull forward, even the slightest, I end up, uh, having to do basically a three point turn to get out. So we need a six slot cargo bed. Low saddle variant. There it is. It almost doesn't reach Bruticus's height, but yeah, the trailer's just gonna have to deal with it. Bruticus is a big girl. All right. Uh, yeah, that'll be good enough. That's a good spot to stop. And then, 5319 special. I kind of want to test how good you are in the mud. You have 8.0 grip in mud. And there's mud right down the road. Which means, if you can tear through that, no problem. Because many of my other trucks struggle through that. So if you can tear through that, no problem. I want something else. And then I will absolutely believe in your 8.0 grip. And that uh, I will basically not need chain tires. With that kind of insane amount of tire action going on there. I cannot find a 4 slot cargo bed. There it is. Uh, I want sidewall. There you go. Four slot sidewall cargo bed. Whoa. Something's, uh, kind of not agreeing here. I don't know what it is. It seems more like it's just an excited kid. <laughs> the bed is like, ah, I'm finally getting used. I'm finally getting used. I'm finally getting to do a job. Girl, shut up. Calm down. We ain't doing nothing special. We're just grabbing some metal beams. After I struggled for hours trying to get some. Also, um... Because you're not centered. Hang on. Detach. Detach. That's hilarious. It just does that. It's not doing that with Bruticus's, uh... Crane. So this is something that has to do with... The Azov itself. Not sure why, but okay. Change up. As long as you don't go into space, girl. We're good. You don't have a pilot's license anyways. You're, you're definitely not an astronaut. Oh, that's right. There's, uh, there's mud there. I was about to avoid it entirely. All right, well, we'll have you meet with Bruticus down here. Huh. All 
All right, this will be a good spot to park. All right, so right now she's rolling in rear wheel drive, I think. No, front wheel drive. Okay. That's just apparently uh, NYC Trucks' thing is to make all their trucks front wheel drive. Okay. Uh, change suspension mode. Hmm. I kind of don't believe in your uh, Apache tires. Yes, they are cutting through the mud. But I feel like if you had 8.0 grip on that, you would have shredded through it without me needing to go into all-wheel drive. So... Yeah, no. We, we're going to change off those tires to something else when we get back home. Girl, you are just way too excited for no dumb reason. Let's go. High range. So we need to go pick up two metal beams. Whoop. For that, uh, that rock slide. Whoa. Ow. Once we pick up the metal beams, we'll activate the mission and read the mission statement. Come on, Bruticus. There you go. You just not have... Oh. Someone's not having a good day all of a sudden. There we go. She's back on her feet. Back on her paws. Funny how she went sideways and then the trailer stopped bobbing up and down like it wasn't excited anymore because it's like, oh, I fell over. But then the second we got her back up, that's when she got excited again. Same Bruticus this way. Wait, no. Yeah, no, this is fine. Change truck. Now we got a detour. Right. Hmm. You hit the ground and you shouldn't have hit the ground. You have a lifted suspension. Granted, it's not tuned to lift like that, but it's more lifted than the original truck and you hit the ground. That's a little uh, sketchy. I don't like that. Whoop, there's the chain tires not wanting to cooperate. Or I should say the lack of chain tires. And I just find that hilarious, honestly. The trailer is lifting the back end for some odd reason. Now see, that's a little bit more understandable. But I'm still not convinced that you have an 8 out of 10 grip with those Apache tires. I feel like that might not be realistic to your description. Maybe 5? I would say 5.0s. Or even 5.5s. But definitely not 8. 8 is literally... Uh, the Tatarin's grip strength. And the Tatarin 
does not stop in mud. Granted, it is also a heavy truck. Whoop. But I would still argue that any truck, doesn't matter how heavy it is, with an 8.0 grip rating should not be bogging down like that. Except for like the scout trucks, like the regular scout trucks, like the uh, the CK1500 or even the Apache itself, because that's not exactly a heavy truck in the scout category. Maybe the Ford F750, but that's a maybe. So I need two metal beams. Oh, someone stopped getting excited. That sounds weird. Don't take that out of context. It's also a very sad thing to to know, but okay. I still can't turn. And I kind of blame the trailer for that. But at least it's not bobbing up and down anymore. Now that it's got weight in it. Yeah, nah. I'm gonna say that those aren't eights. Those are definitely five rating in grip strength going through the mud. They're definitely powerful, but they're not so powerful that they're Tataran powerful where they'll cut through the entire thing without slowing down. I tried to turn and I still hit the pole. Pretty sure I started the day at night, which is kind of a weird thing to say, but I definitely started the session at midnight. And it's already looking like it's like afternoon. So we completely blitz through the morning and the evening. Yep. Okay. Change truck. Scoot the trailer over. Attach to the Azov. And now we read the mission statement. So, landslide in the north. Start tracking. We wanted to make sure that it was two middle beams and that it wasn't anything more or less. The weather is horrible. Any rain causes a landslide. Will you help us clear it? And yeah, make it worth your while. What do you mean by that? Not like that, get your mind out of the gutter. All right, let's go, Bruticus. So we basically just need to take the main path all the way to the warehouse. Um, I think just so that way we don't have to deal with the light pole here. I'm going to cut around it. Bruh. But as close as I can, so that way... Whoop. Come on, trailer. So that way we don't end up hitting the other light pole that's back there. Fantastic. High range girl. Ooh. Dang it. 
I was kind of hoping not to dig into the mud there. I just wanted to high range. Did it again. Yeah, now my truck is dirty. That's kind of more or less just the norm. I'm struggling to pull the Aslov for some odd reason. It could be the trailer that's digging into the mud. Whoa, and suddenly we got speed and power. The heck, why does that car look so flat? Like, it looked flatter than normal. I mean, granted, this game wasn't designed for cars, necessarily. I don't know, just... Something about its proportion wasn't correct. It was a little offsetting. Hope you're doing okay back there, eyes off. Oh. By the way, this is your stop. <laughs> Whoa. Still in high range. Uh oh. Uh, trees, help me. Thank you, trees. You saved Bruticus. I would say I'm forever in your debt, but I'm not. Because sometimes I can't trust trees. But only sometimes. And on, on, you know, not unlike the rocks, where I can never trust the rocks. Rocks are the devil. Alright. So, let's see. Wrong button. So to get the sawmill going, we need four bricks, two concrete, two pack sand, two middle rolls. So the pack sand is over here. Middle rolls obviously is all the way down the corner. And we determined that there's two bricks here and one concrete. So we just need one concrete and two extra bricks. Yeah. One concrete and two extra bricks. So concrete black. Oh, the bricks aren't there? Oh yeah, that's right, the bricks are down here. Literally where the, uh, the brick framing is. So we only need the one concrete block from this area. It's dark out. Uh, we'll take a nap. It's morning, yeah. What a good two second nap that was. I still need my headlights though. Uh, turn up the bacon. Because I know the trailer needs it. Yeah. Truck makes wide turns. Alright. Well, leave Bruticus there. Change truck. Yeah, more and more, I'm just not liking... What was that noise? That sounded more like a gunshot, like someone tried to pop my tires. Or just straight on the laugh me. I don't like that. Anyways. Yeah, the more and more I drive, the more and more I just don't like the Apache tires on the, uh... The 5319. And especially since the grip strength lied to me. It should not have lied to me. Alright, here's your metal beams. 
Oh, and now the uh, the trailer's excited. Great, the path is clear. Good work. Now, as far as I understand, there's also yeah, this this thing, family business. I'm not gonna do that mission just yet, but I am gonna go down there and grab whatever it is that's down there. It should be just a random car, right? Oh well. Wait, can I see it jiggling on the map? I can. <laughs> I can see the trailer bouncing on the map. That's hilarious. But that also kind of confirmed my suspensions. Like, are the, uh... Are the little... No, it's the 3D models. Are they just still images, more or less? When you're on the map. But nope. They are not. They can move. Given the right circumstance. Um... I don't like any of this. I guess we can cut across back there, but I'm gonna cut across over here. There you go. I heard someone put their handbrake up. Do you also have a trailer attached to you? No, that's not a real trailer. That is a false advertisement trailer. Garbage. Gotcha. You're coming with me. We're gonna put you in a more accessible spot for whenever we come back. Whoop. Don't be breaking my trailer now. That thing's expensive. I paid $5,000 for it. Yeah, that's what I thought. We'll drop it off at the gas station. Since there's a gas station nearby, that's a good spot to leave the abandoned car. I'm sure the gas, uh, gas station attendant and also the gas station owner would absolutely disagree. But I mean, I got no other options, man. I don't want to leave it out in the forest and then have there be a random forest fire. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. And then for that forest fire to manage to grab the truck slash car and burn all its uh, belongings. You gotta meet up with Bruticus now. So we need two metal rolls and two pack sand on the back of this truck. And then the other truck will carry everything else. Or we can have it carry the two metal beams like it did last time. Wait, I don't think we need metal beams though. Uh, we'll have to double check. So, let's see. Uh, sawmill blues, start tracking. And yeah, we don't need metal beams. We could put the bricks on it. Yeah, let's do that. We'll put the bricks on the back of the Azov. And then Bruticus will carry everything else. Which is the concrete blocks, the metal rolls, and the pack sand. Okay. Chain trip. Let's go. I still question your horn there, Bruticus, but there's not really anything anybody can say or do about it. Just kind of is how it is. In some weird way, I guess it balances out. I didn't touch those boxes. You can't blame me for breaking them. They were literally on your property and I'm driving on a public road. Anyways. Uh, 
it kind of weirdly balances out because the Devastator, uh, the Bart's Paystars, and a couple other trucks. Uh oh, uh oh, I can't stop. Uh oh. I don't know what just happened there. We just shot off like a rocket. And literally had the brakes of one, too. Anyways. Yeah, there's a couple of trucks that I have in my arsenal that have really loud horns. So having one that has a quiet horn, I guess, is kind of evening the odds. But I mean, this kind of truck shouldn't have a quiet horn. This is a big truck. She matches the Devastator in size. So for her to not have a big horn or a loud horn is questionable. Okay, you know what? That trailer and those tires are kind of bugging me. So I think what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to disconnect the Azov. We're going to have her delete that trailer, teleport, grab a different trailer, and then also change out her tires because, yeah, her setup is just not working. We might go with the Tega tires because those are like the next thing or like the next best thing for her. All right. I didn't really want to have to resort to the Tega tires all the time, but it's just kind of is what it is. All right. Then it rolls and packs in and those aren't here. I don't know what I hit, but screw you. How freaking dare you damage Bruticus. Although, quite honestly, I don't think you have the means to do any amount of good damage. I'm blinded. Actually, what is your damage rating right now? Interesting. You have... Generic health for engine, tank, gearbox, and suspension. Suspension might actually be a little bit high, but... Your wheels are all 250s. Normally, they're supposed to be 50. So, the wheels are definitely enhanced. Okay. Alright, so detach, delete. Recover. Change out the tires. So those are regular Tega tires. Where are the upgraded Tega tires? I know you got them. Quit holding out on me. There they are. Well, chains, but they don't have the same mud or like enhanced mud grip. That's very interesting. I'm still going to go with it. Just because. Change suspension. Now I need a four slot cargo bed. Oh, we're gonna have to go with the five slot actually. The off-road. Yeah. That one will handle it a little bit better. I don't like having to use a trailer that has more slot space than cargo that I'm gonna be grabbing, but 
Sometimes that's just how it has to be. And there's nothing I can do about it. Oh, that's your high range? Your high range is kind of slow. Whoop. Ow. <laughs> Just slapped the ground there. So that's your max speed. Well, no, not really, because you're only in fourth whoop, gear. If I can get you to go into seventh gear, then we can actually properly test your max speed. Let's find out. We'll meet up with Bruticus some other time. So four. Five. I should have chain tires. I'm still sliding. I lost a lot of speed. Six gear. My gosh, girl. We couldn't even get to top speed. But she is still kind of tearing through the mud. Surprisingly better than with the Apache tires. Yeah, no, the Apache tires are uh, lying. And in some cases, the, uh, the Tega tires are lying. Because I say 2.4 grip. That was definitely not 2.4 grip performance. That was like 3.2. That was enhanced grip. Alright. I probably don't want him parked in the middle of the road there, girl. Uh, let's back it up. Now we wait for Bruticus. And we'll have her drop off the, uh, the bricks in the bed of the Azov. Whoa. Somehow I just got one point of perfect grip on the pavement. And my truck decided to just skyrocket. Decided to put the nitro in. <sighs> Tearing through the mud. Cutting between the trees. Getting a little bouncy. Dug into the mud. High range. You got this, girl. You don't need chain tires. You just need more power. Although, you basically have all the power. So, I wouldn't even say you need that. 
I don't think Bruticus is making it around this corner. Ow. Frack. Whoop. Ha. Oh, we could have made it, but then the, the trailer got caught on something. I need my front end to snag onto that. There we go. Perfect. The trailer is kind of uh, having a bit of a fit. There we go. So, unpack. Oh, we're gonna need to turn the engine on for train mode. Yoink. There we go. Restore the crane. So what do we need? We need pack sand. Pack sand. Onto the trailer. Uh, unpack and repack, because I forgot to uh, repack the uh, the bricks. Oh, not the bricks, the, uh, the concrete blocks. Pack cargo. Uh, we don't need to do anything else. Neutral. Uh, the bricks are kind of just down the road. That's okay though, I don't mind having an insane road train to go around a tight corner. Said no trucker ever. Yeah, we actually made it out of there pretty nicely. We didn't dip too far into the, uh, the ditch. And we didn't snag on any poles or walls. Cutting over the ice a little bit. Detach. Yeah, let's make our way up this way a little bit. Whoa. That's a good parking spot. Yeah, no, these are not 2.4s. That was an insta launch inside deep mud, having sunk into it at that. Let's grab the one on the left. I 100% believe these are like 3.2s, if not 3.5s or 4s. So I don't know why the description says otherwise. Cargo management, give me the bricks. There we go. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. So far, I'm kind of liking the, uh, the NYC trucks. At least the, uh, the 5319 Special Deluxe. 
It is definitely a proper upgrade. It might even be in the powerful category, all things considered. Whoop. Wait, does it have an autonomous winch? I can't remember. It does. So yeah, it would probably be best in the upgraded category. Although considering that I like it so much, I might even put it in one of my favorites category, so it'll get a red paint job. Actually, a red 5319 would probably look pretty sick. And considering who the modder is with the, uh, the 7XY5 uh, Hall All, which is just the 73210 super upgraded, it's definitely going to have more color palettes, more color combinations. And red should be one of them options. If it isn't, I will actually be disappointed. Maybe even disgusted. And ashamed that I have it in my mod loadout. Uh, gotta go over. Now, if you don't know why I have to do it this way, and I don't, uh-oh. Make myself the, uh, the folding bridge over that dilapidated bridge. is because that dilapidated bridge actually has an invisible wall on both ends. An invisible barrier keeps me from actually running into it. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. No, no, no. We're not doing this again. Attach the back end to that tree. We had this problem before. And for some reason, this area is really tilt happy. There we go. You stay right there, Bruticus. But yeah, I can just demonstrate it right now. Full speed! Dang it. Yeah, there's literally an invisible wall here. Why they did that, I don't know. Like, that would be a good way to punish the player. But at the same time, it would be an excellent opportunity for us to use the folding bridge on this broken bridge. Or, you know, they could have just given us a mission to fix the bridge. Which would have been, you know, typical, but at the same time, you know, manageable. Because it's literally on the main road. It's on our path to doing other missions. You might as well just give it to us. Just allow us to fix that bridge. Trip. And it's gone from day to night yet again. Thank you, Snowbank. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go this way. High range. Over 
over the mud and through the snow to Grandpappy's cottage we go. What? Freaking! why does Grandpappy have to live out in the sticks? Why are the grandparents living out in the woods? That is not a place for grandparents. Of course, you know, they could be totally independent, self-sufficient, and extremely healthy at their age. But I still question why. Why would you do that? Unless you, like... Well, no, I was about to say, you know, unless you don't have children to take care of, but then it's like you're a grandparent, you then have grandchildren, you don't take care of them necessarily, but you have grandchildren at that point. And I would think that you'd want to see them. So maybe they're just the douchey grandparents that are like, I need to get out of the city away from my son and daughter because yeah, they annoy me too much. And I don't want to deal with their little demon spawns that they've uh, accrued. We're gonna drop the Azov off right there. Cut through the bus stop. Very illegally. Excuse me, tree. Whoa. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make that turn. No. I mean, I didn't make it because of the train car, but at the same time, I didn't want to... Oh, this might be a problem. I didn't want to, uh... Try and squeeze between this on-rail lift and the platform. That definitely would have been bad. Alright. It does say two metal rolls, right? Yeah. Okay. Truck. Yeah, that's right. We need to deliver that thing. Uh, maybe next session. Like, all that is really on my mind right now is making sure that I have the means to do every other mission on the map by having access to all of the cargo. Because, as anyone knows, by seeing the last two sessions, we basically had a bit of an issue with that. And I don't want to have that issue again. Ever. Neutral. Okay, truck. I want to access all the warehouses, have access to all of the supplies. So that way, when I go and do the dumb things that I want to do, I don't have to worry about the cargo and Ah. My poor management skills. On oh, if I decide to tip the truck and lose said cargo and have to restart. Brutus, you are flying at dangerous speeds here. At dangerous angles. Rocket parts. Interesting. Bruh, look how big that rocket is. You can't sit there and tell me that there's only one metal beam out of all that metal that that rocket 
is comprised of. You got two, maybe even three out of that scrap pile. Don't you sit there and try to lie to me. Alright. Finally made it to the sawmill. And it is only now that I realize I didn't read the mission statement. So we're going to read it. I guess I look like an errand boy. Obviously, we don't want to quarrel with the local government. In short, they asked for help with the sawmill. Apparently, it has a special saw. Yeah, that, that, that's kind of the point of it being a sawmill, but... Okay. So they want to get up and running. What special saw? How can you make a saw special? I guess you can, like, make it out of titanium or... Maybe carbon fiber? No, that wouldn't... That wouldn't be right. Or, uh, tungsten. Ah, oh, if it was made out of tungsten, bro, that thing would never fade. Well, maybe it would kind of sort of fade, but it would never break. Because tungsten. Yeah. What if you made it out of Tonka Tough Steel? And uh, then you'd just be unstoppable at that point, I think. Alright. Cargo management. Concrete blocks. Metal rolls. Hex sand. Bring the truck up. Disconnect. Change truck. And here's your bricks. You made it. Good job. Now I can we're getting paid for it, but never mind. Wait. We're not getting paid, but I'm owed four million dollar. Also, I still got paid 10k. So what do you mean we're not getting paid? Maybe you're not getting paid, but you don't deserve money anyways. So let's see here. We need medium logs. One medium log will make three wooden planks. That's quite a lot, actually. Considering usually they make like one to two. Uh, how many do we need over here for the crossing? Crossing requires two medium logs and four wooden planks. So we would have to dump two logs into the sawmill. And then two extra logs for the crossing itself. Uh, time. We've been going for quite a while. But I mean... Uh, it's literally right there. And that's also literally where uh, the logs are. I think this, that's a trailer with logs in it. Wasn't there a mission that required logs? Like proper logs? Yeah, not dream car, nope, crossing. This one, dangerous road. So that requires the log trailer and the one medium log that it's carrying. We can literally do those back to back if we grab that trailer. And we just need the extra logs. So the plan should be to grab three medium logs. And then yoink that trailer and bring it to the town.
Sounds good to me. We're going to have to detach, delete this trailer. Recover. Bruticus. Detach and delete your trailer. Recover. You did good, girl. Remove your add-ons. All right. Retain. Yeah, I kind of want to get that bridge done and dusted. Hmm. Western stars. Do you have any medium log add-ons? You do. You have a bunk. Okay. So if we get... One bunk on the truck with a dolly trailer that can haul two medium logs. And I believe we have one from the Olsum Trailer Pack mod. We can take that down to the log station. And then at the same time, grab that trailer with a winch. Drag it all the way across the ice over to here. Sounds perfect. So, crossing, start tracking. Let's see. So, four hundred K engine. I need all the power. What is that? The W24, okay. Heavy duty eight gear. Oh. Um I was thinking of swapping out for the ten speed here. Oh, it's fine too. No, recover. Get that off my truck. Regular high range. Garbage. Okay. Well, seven speed sport type two it is. Uh, let's see, out of all my Azovs. Actually, now that I realize that that paint job is on the other Azov, and I should probably swap it. I'll repaint them later. For now, we gotta focus on this truck. So, high range. Uh. Heavy duty eight gear. I don't know if I want to do that. Heavy active, soft custom, stock, heavy raised. Heavy raised. So without the Nanako Tigers, oh yeah, that's right. You got the uh, the GXLRs. So this is the dually truck. I'm guessing at this point we might as well just go ahead and go with the GXLRs, even though that doesn't make her dually anymore. But I want the GXLRs. They look so cool. Uh, ultimate offline. Spare wheel, because why not? 
engageable all-wheel drive. So it's got crane platform. Specifically in the rear. So medium log bunk. Log loader just in case. Trailer hitch. Good. Sun visor. LED fog lights. That's all good. Oh. Extra fuel, extra tool. Wait, 67 extra is overpowered? I don't know about that, but okay. We'll go with the... Oh, I can only do one or the other. Um... I would much rather the fuel. Fuel over uh, repairing parts. It's kind of my go-to. Go with the heavy-duty pipe. Get rid of the western horns. I always hate the horns. Muzzle. Ooh. Oh, I like the grain purple. But I also like the red and black. I'm going to go with the red and black. Just because... Uh, this will always be my favorite twin steer. Especially when it's modded. Kated out. Heavy raised. Oh, I didn't give the other one cup. Cup. Boat ornament. Wow. Officialized. You gotta make sure to officialize. So those are the regular GXLRs. Very impressive. We're going to go with the chain variant GXLRs. Because I want no flaws whatsoever. This mod was 6 megabytes and I intend to use all of them. That doesn't really make any sense, but okay. I just thought it would sound cool. All-wheel drive. I mean, I don't really need her to do anything. I just wanted to, uh... To do all the upgrade stuff. Sun visor. I also like that it doesn't give me sideboard bed options. It just keeps the regular flatbed going. And just allows you to add long log carrier stuff to it. And that's kind of perfect. So, let's see. Actually, you know what? I just want to double check. Alright, so... Got all that stuff. LED fog lights. Extra fuel. This is like the one modder that's decided, Ah, you know what? I'm not going to let you do both. It's one or the other. You choose one or the other... When it comes to your extras and deal with the uh, the consequences of your actions kind of deal. Uh, I'm going to go with the grain purple just so that way I can distinguish them. I could go with this white and red, but nah. Up, oh. hood ornament, wyvern, officialized, very pretty. All right, girls, it's time to head out. It's night time, but don't worry, 
We'll be taking a nap very soon. Yeah, I literally have to start turning immediately. Ow. Because there's no other option. When it comes to getting out of this place, at the angle that we're starting at. Uh, off-road trailer. No, I need... Logging trailer. There we go. That's one long log. That's too short. I need mediums. I know there's a medium. You gave me a long log and a short log. You might as well give me the medium. There it is. Perfect. Uh, neutral. And brick off. We're gonna have the other truck lead. So, start turning immediately. Yeah, that's what I thought. Although this one has the rear steer, so its turning radius is a little bit better. This is fabulous. Turn up the bacon. Uh, which way are we gonna go to grab that log trailer? Oh, we can actually go right over the train bridge and hook a right. Let's take a nap. All right, it's morning. How convenient. Whoop. Need a little all-wheel drive. Excuse me, trees. Ain't oh. And yeah, we're a little stuck. Actually. Turn the engine on. Rah. Power. I knew it. Power was the way to go. That is the only way to defeat the trees. I am already loving this mod. Especially since I don't have to use the Nanako tires. Like, as good as those tires are probably, you know, are for this truck and are probably on par with Mr. Bus's wheel pack. I don't like the idea of having to put in two wheel packs in my mod loadout. Mr. Buses is already stretching it because it costs 77 megabytes. And the only reason why it's in the loadout is because I'm using the truck packs that Mr. Buses has. If it weren't for the truck packs, that tire pack would be gone. I'm, uh, a little stuck here. Diff flat. Up and over. One more time. Right, there we go. Now we gotta pull the truck up and over. Sorry, girl. 
But you are gonna kind of need to move your dumb butt over that block. I said move over the block. I see how it is. Change trip. weird sense of deja vu out of this and not because I went this way before with some other trucks like just in general I got deja vu the block at a hundred miles an hour. Ow. That was probably not the best idea. In fact, I knew it was the worst idea before I even threw it into high range. But I thought it would be fun. And it was. Oh. Come on, girl. There you go. Change truck. Yikes. I was not expecting that amount of resistance, but okay. just that easy. Oh. Never mind, it was not that easy. It appears as though I'm kind of stuck. I'm stuck on the train rails, and I don't know how I managed that. Turn the engine on. That was kind of dumb of me. High range. But yeah, as long as we have like one good custom tire or even like a really good uh in-game tweaks tire. I don't mind not using a certain tire pack. But sometimes that's just not the case. I think I've only ever found one other truck mod. It wasn't the trend steer, but it was just another truck mod that I wanted to try out found out that it only had custom tires for either Nanako or Mr. Buses. And I was just like, no. If the truck itself does not have the capability to have its own set of tires, even if they're just vanilla tweaked tires, then I don't really want to showcase it. I don't really want to try it. So, attached trailer. Good. A 
Uh, I want to double check something real quick. So, is it helping thy neighbor? No. Dangerous road. So it just needs the trailer and the logs that are on the trailer. I don't know if I really want to tow, or not tow, uh, winch that trailer to tow the other truck. So we're not going to. We're gonna put this girl on the back of the pad. Oh yeah, that's right, we're going down to the ice. Uh, that's a little sketchy, but we'll see. Oh, does this not have the medium logs? It doesn't. Where are the medium logs? Frick, they're all the way back there. Alright, give me a minute. Time to get the medium logs. Properly this time. Actually. So. On the truck. And uh, two on the trailer. Are we good? So now all we gotta do is meet back up with our twin sister. And we'll be good to go. Now unfortunately one of the issues that I had was uh, I almost lost my truck trying to go over this. And that was without cargo. So we're actually going to huck uh, right there all along the train track and then make a left back down the, uh, the original path Go high range. Whoop. I oversteered somehow. Quite honestly, this set of trucks without the Nanako tire pack is kind of perfect for my liking. And I want to be clear that I don't really, I'm not hating on the, uh, the, uh, the Nanako tire pack. Or the modder in general. It's just I don't like the idea of needing two different tire packs that are both nearly a hundred how megabytes a piece and only needing them for like two trucks. Hence why when it comes to the Mr. Buses wheel pack, I got the truck pack that they have. I got several truck packs that they have. So that way I can use 
most of their trucks and thus be able to utilize the wheel packs. Because the Bart's stuff, the Bart's Paystar and the Bart's Tatra packs, those utilize Mr. Bus's wheels and sometimes Nanako's wheels. So, since there's no Nanako truck pack, at least not on console, or one that has caught my attention, I can just as only assume that the tires are for like one to two different trucks and whoever is allowed to share or uh, utilize the mod as a uh, as a dependency oh yeah I don't want this truck being pulled by oh, that truck Oop. I don't want that trailer to freak out and wobble all over the place because it can't handle the weight. Whereas this trailer that I'm using on this truck, this should be able to handle the weight of towing another truck no problem. for that one. Change truck again. Now, if this goes poorly, we're gonna have to do this one truck at a time. Whoop. My lead truck was starting to tilt. I already don't like that. The trailer also was tipping. Ooh. I just lost the <laughs> the rear trailer stuff. Change truck. Can we just pack that back on there? No, we cannot. Um. Hang on. Detach. Push that back. There we go. Aha! 200 IQ play. Genius. Still got to cut across the ice here, girl. Well, not across, but like, you know, over it. Because I know we can still make it to the drop-off if we just tag along the side of the river. Ow! That actually scared me. I was not expecting that piece of ice to cripple my truck. I wasn't expecting a piece of ice to actually pop up in general. That was very rude of you, game. Hold up, I need a thumbnail of this. Alright, we're good. I don't know if I can trust that ice. I'm mean, gonna kinda have to because I'm swinging wide. Uh, where's the drop off for Dangerous Road? Right there. So if we cut across to those like two little shacks the arrows pointing at we can drop off our sister in the rear 
and she should be able to handle that mission no problem. Whoop. And as long as we don't tip over. Frick you, light pole. Shut up, donkey. I don't even know why you're here. Donkeys don't exist in Russia. I mean, maybe they do, but... They're definitely not native, that's for sure. Frick this impenetrable boat you got going on here. There we go. Grab the other twin steer. Read the mission statement. Oh, we got some things unlocked, do we? Dangerous road. I went to share our code. Just like this one. Really? What w why did you state that? What was the point of that? Whatever. You need to get far away to the village, but everyone's scared of the ice. Then why do they live there? You're literally in one of the coldest places to actually properly live in. Like Alaska. Russia is cold almost 24-7. Why would you be scared of the ice in any capacity? You live in it 24-7. Babies. If you do it, we'll pay. I mean, by the mission statement, it's not by much, so, uh, I'm a little disgusted. That didn't sound good. Or something kerchunk over there and with my uh my twin sister all right cargo management here's your logs and here's your trailer fine as agreed here's your payment it sounded like he was a little pessimistic about that like he wasn't really uh really thrilled with the idea of paying me Whoa. Trying to get up close so I can refuel just for the fun of it. Oh no, we ran out of fuel. Chain truck. Now I'll read the other mission statement. Crossing. We have a situation. There used to be a bridge here, but it fell apart the other day. We cannot do it without a crossing, so it's pretty urgent. Can I count on you? I mean, if you stop being lazy, you can just take the metal bridge that I made over there. Or, you know, quit being a pansy and cut across the ice over here. I don't know, I feel like you're just being lazy and overly needy at this point for wanting this particular bridge and no other bridge. But, okay. Oh, now that I think about it. I needs to get across because I have wood that needs to be broken down into metal planks which someone else needs to be able to uh, to transport we have a little bit of a problem 
A little bit of a conundrum. Hey, you know what? We'll drop off the trailer stuff, because I don't want to haul the trailer over there, potentially tip it. So... Oh, frick. I don't want it to take from the rear of the truck, though. Detach. Unpack. Attach trailer. Here's our logs. I'm a genius. Detach. Delete trailer. And then... Pack the cargo. Smart. Do I need this fuel trailer for anything? Does it need to go anywhere? Heavy duty? No. 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 So, no one needs this trailer. Alright. It's mine, I called dibs. Everybody knows about the International Dibs Protocol. And the No Take Backs Accord. Come on, trailer, quit being a big baby. Gotta go help out my twin sister. Whoop. Huh. <laughs> There you go. Alright. I need you to refuel. And just for that, give it refuel. Alright. Detach. Delete. We don't need it. I'm stuck. Okay, here we go. I don't know why I was stuck. Damn. Yeah, it's a good thing we brought our twin sister along. I mostly just had her come along just so that she can pull the trailer without any worries. But then we had a bunch of problems that made us worry. But now she'll be properly useful because she'll be able to carry the four planks of cargo that we need. Neutral. Turn off. Let's go. We gotta cross the river. High range. Are slowing down. That's unacceptable. We're supposed to speed up in high range. Yikes. Uh oh. I broke the suspension on both trucks. Holy frick! <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, we might have problems. Both trucks are damaged. And I lost my cargo. Can I reach? Not reach. That was one heck of a bounce. I was not expecting that. That's one log. 
We're gonna hurry up before we run out of fuel. And then both trucks have oh, punctured. Uh, uh oh. Can I still grab that? gas tanks. Whoop. We're, uh, kind of looking at a big problem if either one of them runs out of fuel. Alright. Restore the crane. Back to cargo. Catch the truck. We gotta go. We're now literally running short on time. Turn your engine in. You might as well turn your engine on. <laughs> we gotta speed it up. High range. Cut across the side here. Ugh. I don't like the idea of doing that, but Unfortunate. Ooh. It's all that we got. Huh. Ah. Frick you rocks. Bruh. You will not deter me from my mission. Detach. Alright, so here's some logs. Craft. Okay. Change truck. I will pick up one, two, three, four. I will also take fuel from you because, you know. Might as well, it's leaking. We need all the fuel that we can get. Thank you for the assistance. High range. We gotta go. We gotta speed and power. This suddenly became the most intense mission that I've ever had to do. Because I'm... Got my gas tank punctured. My suspension is absolutely shot. I'm surprised I didn't blow a tire. And there's rocks everywhere. Rocks of the devil. Also, I don't have a crane. So if we tip... It's game over. Bah. We made it. Wooden planks. Here's your stuff. Alright. Great. The crossing is set up. We are good to go. Thanks. I'm gonna park my truck on it. That's a good parking spot. Wow. So good, so fabulous. Why is that sun so big? It should not be that big. That is a, uh, that's a scary thought. I don't know how you have snow when the heat death should be upon us with that big of a sun. Oh well, time to recover. Wait, where there? Let's see. Oh, there, yeah, that's right. There's tiny scout fuel trailers around that probably should be picked up at some point. Recover. Finally. Made it back home. Safe and sound.
It was several missions done at this point. So with that. Yeah, everything's good? Okay. Perfect. Now I'm going to repaint these things. So this one, I just want to change out the yellow. And the other one we're going to make red. Not sure what kind of red though. Well, yeah, that will be the end of today's session. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. That kind of yellow is nice. We'll go with that. Stay safe. Take care. And we'll see you in the next session. Ooh, look at that red. What kind of red are we going to go for? I kind of want that one, but let's double check everything else. No, no, no. It's like Christmas? No. No, no, no. Okay, so yeah, that's the, that's the red that we're going for. Fabulous.